Another concern that people have when just making a big anything trip, whether it's Disneyland or Disney World, um, is the cost. And so do you have any money saving tips that you or maybe your clients have used while planning a trip? So again, I'm going to come back to use a travel agent. Yes. Um, we can do all the research for you and find like we, the trip calendar and like see when the rates are lower based on their awesome. needs. Also, Disney decides to drop promotions, which they just did last week, which was crazy. It was like on a super busy day. Um, oh, as your travel agent or your travel advisor, we will go in and check your, res you know, your reservation and see if it applies, if we can apply a promotion for you. Um, if the promotion doesn't work, we can find other options that maybe you might want to save the money. So I got yeah. to text a client last week and tell them that I saved them $1,700. And yes, you're hearing Whoa. me correctly. $1,700 because I applied a 35% off Disney Plus promo to their package. Oh and gosh. it made me feel so happy. And I was like, you just saved this much money. She's like, are you joking? I was like, no. <laughs> oh, that wow. literally gave me like chills right yeah, there. yeah that is like so that is cool. every reason to use a travel agent right there yeah because <laughs> yeah. i didn't know because you could so you could apply that like sometimes like post booking you know and they'll apply. so wow. that's what happened so that she booked with me a couple months ago and i said you know disney usually only does promos for like know, three to six months at a time and she's going in december so i was like if you know when the december promos come out I will go and I will apply it for you. Disney, if you book through Disney alone, they will not go and do it for you. You can call and ask them to do it, but they're not just going to automatically do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when mm -hmm. you have a travel agent, they'll do that for you. Um, but the other thing is, so, so another client, I was like, okay, we can save you this much money on the room type that you're in. Or you can upgrade to a nicer room and still save 200 bucks. And they were like, oh, yeah, I want the nicer room and save me the 200 bucks. So that was wow. cool, too. You know, it's like That's fun. You so can do, cool. you know, find ways to mm -hmm. save money and help people have a nicer trip. Um, another tip, buy discounted Disney gift cards. I know Sam Clubs and BJ's and Target, if you have a Target red card, you get 5% okay. off mm -hmm. everything. So if you buy, you know, a $500 gift card and you're getting 5% off, you're saving 50 bucks and you can use Ooh. gift cards to pay for your package or you can oh, use it for yeah. food when you're in the park. Yeah. Smart. That's amazing. So you could even use that to do a package through a travel agent with the, with the yep. Disney gift card. Wow. Yep. Wow. Or cruise, you can savings. book a cruise with Disney gift cards. Ooh. Yeah, you can use it for anything Disney. And the other thing I, you know, tell Ready people is if if you're really planning far in advance and your if your family knows and they want to give you gifts for Christmas or your birthday, just be like, give me Disney gift oh. cards, give me Disney gift cards, and yeah. then you can bring them with and you or use them up. towards your trip. 